Welcome to the video on how to build a curved railing. We're going to take a look at the process that goes into building a curved mountain laurel handrail and we'll cover all of the aspects from start to finish. So let's get into it. Mountain laurel handrail makes curved railing systems that are easy to install. Like any good building project, it starts with a set of plans. The curved railing plans are used for setting up the bending jigs and the building jig. The arc on the plans is provided by the contractor. The cedar 1x4 lumber has to soak in a pool for at least 48 full hours, preferably over the weekend. This is a temporary soaking pool made with 2x4 framework and a piece of black plastic. We built a steamer from a piece of 4 inch PVC pipe with a wallpaper steamer attached to a hole cut into the pipe. The hole is then sealed with spray foam. The temperature in the steamer gets pretty hot, so make sure that you use gloves when you take the lumber out. This is the first attempt at the bending jigs, which didn't work out because they're too close together. Also, you'll want to use bar clamps and not spring clamps because the spring clamps just aren't strong enough. This is the current system, and this shows where we're bending two different arcs. This is a board that has been bent for a curved wood handrail system and this is a board that has been broken. Breaking the boards by bending is not really predictable, not even by the location of the knots. This is the building jig for the curved wood handrail. The lumber sits on the bending jig for 24 hours, then it goes to storage where it's still under pressure, usually from stacked concrete blocks and pieces of lumber. The building jigs go on the table, and the sticks help the railings hold their shape. So here's the finished product, looking at it from overhead, and here's a view from a long angle to kind of get an idea of the curve. Uh, you'll see here where we store the railings that there's two different curves. That was for this project. And here's uh, the additional 1x4 lumber that the contractor will need to finish the installation. The top plate is cut to fit on site by the contractor. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it will help you to build your own curved railing for this summer's deck project. If you liked it, please share and let me know what you think in the comments below. You can also view the guide on the website by clicking the link in the description.